our lesson for the day, graphing quadratic functions and analyzing the effects on its graph. Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Mom Shay. This is my very first video tutorial. I hope this will help you especially for grade 9 students. Please consider subscribing on my YouTube channel. Please like, share, comment, and turn on the post notification bell for weekly updates. Good morning everyone! We are now on our week 8 and we are going to discuss all about graphing quadratic functions and analyzing the effects on its graph. So after going through this lesson, you are expected to graph a quadratic function in terms of domain, range, intercepts, axis of symmetry, vertex, and the direction of the opening of the parabola. On your module on page 30, for your learning task number 1, you need to complete the table below using the given graph. So there, you have given there the graph, and then you just need to identify the following properties. Okay? The domain, range, opening of the parabola, vertex, axis of symmetry, x and y intercept. I know these are all familiar to you because we have learned this uh, last uh, time on our week 7. But uh, if you're going to recall, that is on our uh, module page 28. So these are the properties of the parabola. Di ba ating quadratic function ay ang graph niya is what we call the parabola. So, this is the opening of the parabola. It could open upward or downward. The axis of symmetry, ito yon, that is the imaginary line that divides the graph into two equal parts. The intercept, wherein uh, this is or these are the x-intercept, the points that lies on the x-axis, wherein y is equal to 0. And of course, the vertex. The vertex of the parabola that is the turning point of our graph. To help you answer the learning task number one on your um, module on your week eight, let us study the illustrative examples given on your page 31. You have given there two kinds of graph. So the, let us always remember that the graph of a quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is what we call parabola. So you've noticed that the parabola opens upward or downward. So this is an example of the parabola that opens downward, pababa. And this is the parabola that opens upward, pataas naman siya. So it has turning point called the vertex which is either the lowest point or the highest point of the graph. So again, the turning point kung saan siya lumiliko yung ating graph is what we call the vertex. So here in our graph, this is what we call the vertex. Okay? So it's either a uh, highest point or the lowest point. Kasi all, uh, all of the points of our graph lies here dito sa ating graph. Okay? Doon sa pa-curve na linya natin. So, ibig sabihin, sa lahat ng points natin in our quadratic function, the highest point is what we call the vertex. But, it could also be the lowest point. And that is, it is the lowest point when the graph or the parabola opens upward. Okay? Siya yung pinakamababang point. Naririto yung mga ibang Point. Did you understand? So again, uulitin natin. If the parabola opens upward, the vertex is the lowest point of the graph or what we call the minimum point. While if the graph or the parabola opens downward, our vertex is what we call the highest point or the maximum point of the graph. Okay? So, sana maliwanag yun. Now, there is a line called the axis of symmetry. So, alin dito yung axis of symmetry? So, based doon sa napag-aralan natin last time, 
It is the imaginary line that divides the graph into two parts such that one half of the graph is a reflection of the other half. When we say reflection of the other half, kapag tinupi natin itong graph na ito doon sa kanyang axis of symmetry, we can produce two e equal parts or two equivalent parts. Okay? So, dito, hindi natin makikita sa graph natin si axis of symmetry because axis of symmetry is just an imaginary number. So, you can point it here. Here, the axis of symmetry lies, ayan, dito. Okay, so meaning, it is a vertical line that pass through, that passes through the vertex. Kung ito yung vertex, nandi dito po, papatayong uh, linya ang ating axis of symmetry. At dito, ito naman siya. Ayan, nag-pass through din siya sa ating Vertex. So, that is what we call the axis of symmetry. Okay? Understand? Okay, good. Since the quadratic function has two forms in which it could be the standard form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and the vertex form which is y is equal to a times x minus h quantity squared plus k, we call this vertex form because there we can find the vertex in which ang vertex natin ay ang ordered pair natin ay h k so meaning to say kung ano yung value ng h natin at saka nung k sa ating uh, quadratic function in vertex form that is the ordered pair of our vertex so here in this graph ang vertex natin dito ay yan yeah, nasa saan siya Okay, good. Siya ay nandu doon sa origin. So, ibig sabihin, ang vertex natin dito sa graph ay 0, 0. Sabihin, ang value ng h ay 0 at ang value ng k ay 0. Did you understand? Okay. So, dito naman sa ating it opens downward. If you notice dito, ang vertex natin ay... Ayan, 0, 0. So, check na tayo dito. Okay? Now, how about this one? In this uh, parabola that opens upward, the vertex is this one. So, on your module, kung mapapansin nyo, ang ordered pair natin dyan ay 1, 2. Okay? 1, 2. Okay? Ang x natin ay 1 and then ang y natin ay 2. Or ang h natin ay 1, ang k natin is 2. So, therefore, the vertex is 1, 2. So, tingnan ulit natin yung ating uh, graph. Ayan. So, ang vertex natin ay 1, 2. Okay. Kaya na bang kuhanin ang ating vertex? Okay, that is good. That is if the given is in the uh, graph. Okay, if it is represented as graph. But, on your uh, page 32, uh, it is uh, noted that to find the vertex in a standard form, we can also use the formula for hk. Ayan, may formula pala to find the value of h and k. So, kahit hindi natin ilipat dito sa ating vertex form. And that is, by using the formula, ang h daw ay equals kay negative b over 2a. And then, ang ating k ay equal kay... 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Ma'am, paano po iyan? So, suppose that hindi graph yung given. Madali kasi kapag graph yung given, di ba? Kukunin lamang natin yung ordered pair. So, this time, ang given natin ay, like for example, um, it is in the form of a standard form. Tingnan natin yung example sa inyong module, which is y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, how are we going to find its uh, vertex? 
Okay, so this is how you will get the value of A, B, and C. Yung real numbers natin. Ang A natin ay 2, ang B natin ay negative 4, at ang C natin ay positive 4. Correct. Now, we have, uh, we need to substitute the value to our formula. Ang H natin is equal to negative B over 2A. Now, isubstitute lamang natin. So, negative lagi siyang nandodoon. Whether uh, the value of B is positive or negative, basta si negative laging nandodoon. And then, yung value ng B, anong value ng B? Negative 4. So, isusulat natin doon ang negative 4. All over 2 times, what is A? Okay, 2. Now, simplify. Negative times negative 4 is equal to? Very good. Positive 4. And 2 times 2 is equal to? Okay, 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, therefore, your H is equal to 1. Okay. Madali ba? Good. How about yung K natin? Ang K natin is 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. Ganun lang ulit yung process. We need to substitute the values. 4 times, what is A? 2 times C, I, 4. Minus, what is B again? Negative 4 squared. All over 4 times, what is A? Okay, we have 2. Now, simplify. 4 times 2. What is 4 times 2? 8. Diretso na natin ha. 8 times 4 is 32 minus what is negative 4 quantity squared? Okay, correct. That is 16 over what is 4 times 2? Okay, correct. That is 8. Now, 32 minus 16 is? Very good. That is 16 divided by 8. Now, what is 16 divided by 8? Okay, that is 2. Therefore, ang value natin ng k is equal to 2. Upon solving, it only means that your vertex of your given quadratic function na nakasulat into an equation is ano vertex natin? Ano yung ordered pair natin? Okay, that is 1, 2. Okay? So, ang vertex natin ay 1, 2. Ma'am, eh, kung kayo nahihirapan naman sa pag uh, sa substitute or paggamit ng formula ng H and K, you can transform first our uh, standard form, our equation in its standard form into vertex form. Para, ang kukunin na lang natin ay yung value ng H and K. So, how are we going to do that? Magtatali kaya dito sa ginamit nating formula. Okay, tingnan natin. So, ang given natin ay y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, di ba last time, I already taught you on how to transform uh, equation from standard form into uh, vertex form. And that is by applying the steps given on your module. So, on uh, the first thing that we need to do is to group the terms with our containing x. So, alin yun? Ito yung dalawang yun. So, why is it? Kwa igugrupo daw? Okay. Yan. Inihiwalay si constant. Iginurupo natin si um, variable, uh, yung terms na may merong const, uh, variables or yung may x. Now, Next is to factor out A. If there is a value of A except for 1. Since merong value ng 2, ang A natin ay 2, ibig sabihin, we need to factor it out. Okay, ilalabas natin. Ano yun? We have 2 times, ngayon, gagamit na tayo ng division. 2x squared divided by 2, that is x squared. Minus 4x divided by 2, and that is 2x plus 4. Ayan, factor out na natin. And then, next thing to do is, we need to complete uh, this or make it a perfect square trinomial. Y is equal to 2 times. Paano ba natin gagawin itong trinomial? Ano kaya yung nawawala? 
Okay, that is by dividing the middle term, the, uh, the numerical coefficient of the middle term, divide it by 2, and then get the square. 2 divided by 2, 1. 1 times 1, 1. So, ibig sabihin, 1 pala yung kailang, uh, yung missing term na, then to make it a perfect square trinomial. Now, sabi nga natin, kung tayo nag plus dito, anong gagawin natin dito? Okay, isusubtract natin. Sino? Yung ating dinagdag times the, ayan, times the, uh, the factor. Yung finactor out natin or yung coefficient ni A. And that is 2 times, 2 times 1. Okay? Next is, ayan, we need to uh, make it a perfect square trinomial. So, 2 times uh, the square of a binomial rather. So, this is x minus 1 quantity squared plus, simplify natin, 4 minus 2 times 1 is 2. Now, isimplify ulit natin. We have 2 times x minus 1 quantity squared plus, what is 4 minus 2? Okay, we have 2. So, therefore, nailipat na po natin into yan nandoon na po siya sa vertex form so kung ganito yung given natin madali na nating makuha ang value ng h alin po yung value ng h natin okay so since dito ay x minus h ito yon x minus h ano yung h natin Okay, that is 1. Ma'am, hindi ba kasi may negative? Hindi po. Kasi dito, x minus. Ito po yun, x minus. So, your h is equal to positive 1. And your k is, ano yung k natin? The constant term, which is 2. Ma'am, paano pag ito yung plus, x plus 1? Eh, di ang h nyo po ay negative 1. Nag-gets? Okay, good. So, if you notice, parehas lamang tayo ng nakuhang value ng h and k sa ating uh, given formula at saka dun sa ating vertex form. So, you can use either of the two. So, kung nadadalian kayo gamit ang formula, gamitin nyo to. Kung nadadalian kayo sa uh, paglipat uh, or pag-transform into vertex form, ito ang gawin ninyo. As long as you will get your vertex. Okay? Another property that we need to find uh, is the axis of symmetry. But it is not uh, the line, but we are asking for the equation of the axis of symmetry. So how are we going to tell or identify that axis of symmetry is x is equal to 0? And here, axis of symmetry is equal to 1. So let us study uh, the given graph. So, saan kaya nakadepende yung ating axis of symmetry? Tingnan nyo mabuti, ha? Okay, that is correct. So, the equation of the axis of symmetry depends on the value of h. So, ang equation natin dito ay x is equal to h, Okay. So, ito po ang equation of the axis of symmetry. So, we have x is equal to h. So, tingnan nyo mabuti. Ang vertex natin dito sa una, sa unang graph natin in which uh, it opens downward, ang ating axis of symmetry ay x is equal to 0. Because, here, ang x natin, Ang h natin, x is equal to h daw ang axis of symmetry. So, ibig sabihin, x is equal to, ano yung value ng h natin? Okay, 0. Okay? So, that is our axis of symmetry. How about your, vert, uh, how about a second graph? Here, ang ating vertex ay 1, 2. Now, ang, ax, ang equation of the axis of symmetry, ang x ay equal sa h. Ano yung value ng h natin? Okay, 1. So, meaning, x is equal to 1. And that is the equation of the axis of symmetry. So, ma'am, bakit po? Kasi po, di ba yung axis of symmetry is the line that passes through our vertex? Diba? 
So, yung ating line na yun ay lagi ding nagpa-pass through sa ating x-axis. Alin ba yung x-axis? Ito po yun. Nagpa-pass through ba siya dito sa ating y-axis? Hindi po. Ang lagi niyang nadadaanan, pag sinabing pass through ay nadadaanan, ay yung ating x-axis. So, ito po yun. So, kung ano yung value ng x-axis natin na dinaanan ng ating axis of symmetry, That is our equation of the line. Kaya po, x is equal to 1. So, dito, ang dinaanan niya ay, ayan, ay 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating uh, equation of the line is x is equal to 0. So, that is how you can identify the equation of the axis of symmetry. Another property that we need to identify are domain and the range of our quadratic functions. Now, tignan yung mabuti pag-aralan natin yung pagkakaiba nung dalawa nating graph. Okay? So, ang domain, parehas siyang set of all real numbers. Ang range, okay, nag-iba. Okay? So, now, let us study the next page, yung page 32 natin about the domain and range. Sabi dito, the domain of the quadratic function is the set of real numbers. So, ibig sabihin, lahat pala ng real numbers ay, ay, yun yung domain. Ano ba yung mga set of real numbers? So, these are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, So, kahit mga fraction, kasali po yan. Um, how about negative, ma'am? Yes po, real number siya. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Lahat po yan ay real number. So, those are uh, your domain or, or the possible values of x. Okay? So, lagi po siyang set of all real numbers. Yun po lagi ang sagot natin sa domain. Maliwanag na po ang domain. Okay, good. So, para mas malinaw, Diba doon sa ating uh, week 7 about modeling, uh, representing, and transforming quadratic functions, pinag-aralan natin ito. Ano? So, diba dito, tayo ang nag-assign ng value ng x na negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Nasabi ko ay pwede tayong mag-extend. Uh, mag pwede tayong magdagdag pa dito ng, sa pang value and another value na... Ang ating inaano ay kinukuha natin ay or iniisip muna natin ano ba ang value ng x na gusto nating makita. So kung nyari ay 0, okay. So paano natin nakukuha yung y? Ayan. 'Di ba sinubstitute natin yung x na value para makuha natin yung y? Ibig sabihin si y nakadepende siya sa value ng x. Ibig sabihin sa x natin ay independent variable. Kaya po, ibig sabihin, kahit ano pong value ng x ang pwede natin ilagay nito. Kasi nga, ang domain natin, or what we call yung values ng x, ay o, are the set of all real numbers. I hope uh, it is clear. In terms of identifying the range, or yung set of our values ng ating uh, y, it depends on whether the parabola opens upward or downward. Nakadepende daw doon, nakadepende daw yung ating equation or yung value ng y kung it opens upward or downward. Sabi dyan, in the form y is equal to a times x minus h quantity squared plus k, If a is greater than 0, kung mas malaki daw sa 0, ibig sabihin ano yung opening of the of the graph? Kapag mas malaki sa 0, okay, it opens upward. So, kung ito daw ay opens upward, tatandaan natin, ang range of the quadratic function is all or it's a set of y such that y is greater than or equal to k. Okay, natandaan natin, ito'y po yung ating uh, pinaka-formula or equation to find the range. 
lahat daw ng set of uh, values of y wherein y is greater than or equal to k. So, nakadepende naman tayo kay k. And, kapag naman daw ang a is less than 0, ibig sabihin, ang a natin ay ito yun. Ang A natin ang negative. Ito kagaya nito, ang A natin ay negative. Kung kaya, ang graph natin ay opens downward. Yun nga, pakla, yun nga pala, class. Um, ang value ng A ang nagseset kung ang ating parabola ay mag-opens upward or downward. Kapag ang value ng A, yung numerical coefficient ng A ay negative, therefore, our graph will open downward, pababa siya. Pero, if our A is equal to, is a positive number, yung ating numerical ay positive number, therefore, our graph will open upward, pataas siya. Okay? So, tatandaan nyo yun ha. So, sabi dito, if ang A daw ay less than 0, ibig sabihin, the graph opens downward, then the range of the quadratic function is equal naman daw sa set of all values of y such that y is less than or equal to k. So, ito naman yung gagamitin nating uh, formula or equation to find the range. Okay? Now, tingnan natin yung ating given illustrative example. Here, Ang range natin ay y, set of all values of y such that y is less than or equal to 0. Bakit less than or equal to 0 ang ginamit? Una, yung inequality muna tayo. Bakit less than or, is, or equal? Okay, kasi po, ang a natin is negative. Ibig sabihin, uh, less than siya ng 0. It opens downward. Kapag ganun, ang gagamitin natin, less than or equal. Saan naman ang galing sa 0? Okay, doon po sa value ng k. Kasi nga, ito yung ginamit nating equation. Ito yon Equal to k. Ano ba yung value ng k natin? Okay, balikan natin yung kanina nating nakuha. Ang value ng k natin ay 0. Kung kaya, ang ating range ay equal sa yan, set of y values such that y is less than or equal to 0. Nagets? Okay, good. Okay, tingnan naman natin yung another example. Here, ang ginamit naman ay, ang range natin ay all values of y such that y is greater than or equal to 2. Bakit naman yun ang ginamit na uh, inequality symbol? Okay, kasi po, it is greater, ang a natin, yung value ng a ay greater than 0. Ibig sabihin positive or ibig sabihin it opens upward. So, meaning to say, we will use the greater than or equal. Equal. How about yung 2? Saan galing? Okay, that is the value of your k. Ito yon value ng k natin sa second graph. Okay, maliwanag po. Kaya po, ito yung naging sa I hope clear ulit iyon sa lahat. Now we are all done with in finding the domain, the range, the opening of the parabola. Alam na ba kung kailan upward or downward? Okay, that is uh, uh, depends on the value of a. Kapag ang value ng a ay negative, it opens downward. Kung ang value ng a ay positive, ito yon positive, then it opens upward. Okay, dalawa lang naman yon, upward or downward. Now, alam naman na natin kunin ang vertex. Sama ba? Okay, that is the value of h, k. O kaya naman, kapag graph yung given, tingnan nyo lamang yung lowest or, or highest point. Ito yun. Tingnan nyo lang kung nasa saan siyang ordered pair. Okay? Next, ang dalawa na lang natin natitira ay ang x-intercept and, I know, ang axis of symmetry, natapos na rin natin. And that is by applying the equation x is equal to h. Uulitin ko, x is equal to h. Kung ano yung value ng h natin, dun sa vertex natin, that is your axis of symmetry. Pero do not forget the x, ha? x is equal to 0. Because ang hinahanap natin ay equation. Equation of the axis of symmetry. Hindi po pwedeng ang sagot niya lamang ay 0. Hindi pwedeng 2. 
Hindi po pwede po yun. Dapat ay equation of the line. Okay? Now, let us proceed on the last two uh, properties in which uh, we need to find the x-intercept and y-intercept. So, papaano po siya? Okay. So, on your module, sabi dyan, the x-intercept is determined by setting y is equal to 0 and then solving for x. On the other hand, ang y-intercept naman is determined by setting x is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang x-intercept ay nakukuha kapag ang y ay equal to 0. At ang y-intercept ay nakukuha kapag ang x ay equal to 0. Now, the function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c has two distinct x-intercepts. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, and then only one x-intercept kapag ang b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, and no x-intercept kung ang b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Familiar ba sa inyo ang formula na to? Yung b squared minus 4ac? Okay. ba Very familiar. Kasi iyan yung uh, formula natin to find the discriminant. Ibig sabihin, kapag pala ang discriminant natin nun sa ating quadratic function ay greater than 0, may dalawa tayong uh, intercept x-intercept. Kapag naman ang discriminant natin ay equal to 0, we only have one intercept. Pero, kapag ang ating uh, discriminant is less than 0, we have no x-intercept. So ma'am, paano po natin makukuha si x-intercept and y-intercept? Okay, balikan natin ulit yung ating illustrative example. Tingnan natin ang pagkakaiba. Kaya, Kaya ba natin makita? Okay. Dito, ang x-intercept niya ay 0 at ang y-intercept niya ay 0. Okay. Dito, ang x-intercept niya ay... Ayan, nakalagay. No x-intercept. Ang y-intercept niya dito ay 4. Okay. Bigyan ko kayo ng technique. Okay? Kapag graph yung given natin, madali nating makik malalaman. ba Kung ano yung value. Kung ano yung ating x and y-intercept. Papaano? Ang atin pong x-intercept ay tingnan lamang po natin if there is uh, a point that lies on our x-axis. Kasi diba, kapag ang point natin ay nakalay or nandudoon yung position ng ating point or ng ating ordered pair ay nandudoon sa ating or yung point natin ay nandu doon sa ating x-axis, alin ba yung x-axis? Ito po. Ibig sabihin, kaya siya nandyan kasi ang y nyo ay equal sa 0. ba kapag ang y ay equal sa 0, that is our x-intercept. So dito, meron ba tayong point na nakalay sa ating x-intercept? Sa ating x-axis? Okay, yes po, meron. And that is, ito. So, anong, anong, number siya or anong position niya sa ating x-axis? Okay, that is 0. Kaya po ang x natin ay 0. Nakuha? Okay. Ganun din naman sa y-intercept. Kapag graph yung given natin, ang y-intercept naman ay lahat naman ng point na makikita or lies on the y-axis. Kasi, kaya nga siya nakalay sa ating y-axis, ibig sabihin, ang ating ang ating uh, x sa ating ordered pair ay 0. ba kapag ang x ay 0, ibig sabihin, that is our y-intercept. So, ito po yan. Okay? So, meron ba kayong makikita dito sa y-intercept na point? Yes po, ito po yun. So, ibig sabihin, ang y nyo ay equal to 0. Meron pa bang iba na madadaanan? Kasi, di ba, ito nag extend Okay, wala na po. Okay, maliwanag? Maliwanag tayo doon? Okay, good. So, that is how you can find the x and y intercept. Okay, tingnan natin itong second uh, graph or second function. Kunin natin ang x intercept. Bakit kaya no x intercept? Tingnan natin yung x axis natin. Meron bang point na nakalay doon sa ating graph? Madadaanan ba siya? Nadaanan ba siya ng ating graph? 
Okay, hindi po. So, ibig sabihin, from that hindi po, hindi po dadaan dyan sa x-axis. It, kasi pataas eh, pataas pa yan, nag-extend nag pa to eh. Pataas pa yan ang pataas, pero sa pagtaas ng pagtaas yan, madadaanan pa niya ang x-axis. Hindi na po. So, ibig sabihin, there is no x-intercept. Pero, may y-intercept ba? Ito po, ito yung point. Okay, may y-intercept ba? Kung saan madada, nadaanan ang ating y-axis? Yes po, ilang beses? Okay, isa lang. Kasi ito ay lalo pa siyang bubuka ng bubuka. Okay, so ibig sabihin, isang beses lang uh, nag-meet yung ating uh, points sa ating y-axis. So, meaning to say, we only have one uh, y-intercept. At ano yon? Ititingnan nyo yung value ng y, that is 4. That is the reason why y is equal to 4. Okay? Dito ang x-intercept in natin, no? X-intercept, ang y-intercept natin ay 4. So, that is how uh, we can find the x and y-intercept. Based on what we have discussed, let us now uh, solve or identify the following properties of the parabola by having this uh, quadratic functions into uh, represented as graph. So, we have here two quadratic functions. Ito ay nirepresent siya into, into graph. So, una, itong una natin graph, which is uh, the the parabola opens upward at ito naman yung isa nating uh, parabola or the graph of the quadratic function. Now, hanapin natin ang mga hinihingi. Una, yung domain. So, what is the domain in our uh, graph 1? So, this is our graph 1 at ito yung ating graph 2 or yung quadratic function 2. Ang domain natin ay okay, very good. Ay set of all real numbers. Okay? Set of all real numbers ang ating domain. How about the range? Okay. So, di ba ang range natin ay equals a set of all values of y such that y is anong gagamitin natin? Greater than or less than or equal. Okay. That is since it opens upward, ibig sabihin, ang value ng a natin is, is a positive number. So, ibig sabihin, we are, we're gonna use uh, greater than or equal to what is our k. Okay, hanapin natin yung vertex. Ano ba yung vertex natin? Tinan natin yung ordered pair ng vertex natin. Our vertex is, ang x natin ay 0 at ang y natin ay negative 2. Tama ba? Okay. Ibig sabihin, this is h, this is k. So, therefore, the range is, ano yung k natin? Okay. That is negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, ang range natin is equal to the values or set of values of y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now, how about the opening of the parabola? We have two options or we have two choices. Is it opens upward or opens downward? Yes, it opens upward. Very good. Now, for the axis of symmetry, what is the equation of the line? Ito po yung axis of symmetry natin. So, di ba meron tayong formula na x is equal to h? So, therefore... Our axis of symmetry ay x is equal to, ano yung value ng h natin? Okay, 0. Nakukuha? How about x-intercept? Tingnan natin yung ating x-axis. Meron bang uh, value or point na nakalay or nag-pass through our x-axis? Meron ba? Okay, meron po. So, ibig sabihin, our x-axis is equal to... Uh, our x-intercept is equal to Ayan, dalawa po So, we have negative 2 At positive 2 So, yan po ang ating x-intercept How about the y-intercept? Meron ba? Nag-pass through the, the y-axis Okay, we have Y is equal to Okay, correct That is negative 
to. So, ganyan lamang po kasimple kumuha ng uh, mga properties ng ating uh, graph. Now, tingnan naman natin itong second uh, graph natin. Okay, second graph natin, ang opening of the parabola, it opens, obviously, it opens downward. Okay? Now, for the vertex, ano yung vertex natin? Tingnan natin kung, di ba, ito yung vertex natin? Ano ang ordered pair ng ating vertex? Okay, ang, we have negative 2, we have positive 2. Very good. Now, ang domain natin, again, ay set of all real numbers. Now, how about the range? Ang range natin, since uh, it opens downward, these are the set of y values such that y is less than or greater than. Okay, correct. Less than or equal to k. What is your k? Okay, that is 2. Okay, so yan po yung ating range. How about yung axis of symmetry or the equation of the axis of symmetry? x is equal to h. What is h? Okay, we have negative 2, correct. How about x-intercept? Tingin tayo dito. May ilang values kaya ang ating x-intercept? Okay, again, mayroon tayong dalawa kung saan nag-pass through our x-axis. So, ang x natin ay equal kay, ano yun, negative 3 at saka negative 1. Ito po yun, negative 3 at saka negative 1. And our y-intercept, tingnan nga natin, may nag-pass through ba? In this case, that we do not have uh, our given quadratic function or yung equation, di ba kasi ang given lamang natin ay graph, eh dito sa graph natin, hindi natin makita kung saan siyang point nag-pass through yung ating, uh, ating graphs or yung parabola natin sa y-axis. Pero, alam natin na siya'y magpa-pass through. Naniniwala ba kayo? Yes, kasi di ba mag extend pa siya pa baba? Ibig sabihin, magpa-pass through siya sa ating uh, y-axis. So, therefore, there is y-intercept. So, pa paano po ang gagawin natin siya? We need to uh, set x is equal to 0 para makuha natin yung y-intercept. Kasi di ba, kapag ang x ay equal to 0, ang y-intercept natin ay... I, that would be the value of our y-intercept. So, paano natin kukunin yan? Ngayon, kailangan natin hanapin yung ating equation. Ma'am, makukuha ba natin ang equation natin gamit lang yung graph? Yes. Here, if you notice in our graph, uh, we cannot identify uh, the value of the uh, y-intercept. Why? Because uh, there is no point that pass through the y-axis. Pero, we all know that uh, our graph or the parabola will pass through the y-axis. Yun nga lang, hindi nakita dito sa ating graph. So, we need to find what is that point? Hindi naman pwedeng manghula lamang tayo. Ay, dito, dito yun magpapas through sa negative 5. Hindi, di ba? So, kailangan, uh, hanapin muna natin kung ano yung equation. We will use the equation in order to find the y-intercept. Kasi, uh, for us to determine the y-intercept, we need to set x into 0. I-equal natin yung x sa 0 and then substitute doon sa ating equation, and then kung ano yung magiging value ng y, that will be our y-intercept. Yun nga lamang, we do not have the equation. Dito ba sa ating given may equation? Ay, wala, di ba? Kasi ang pinakita ko lang, or ang binigay ko lang given sa inyo ay graph. So, how are we going to do that? So, hanapin natin kung ano yung equation na nawawala. And we can find that through our vertex form. Ang vertex form natin is y is equal to a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. So, we already know the value of h and k. Tama ba? Yes, we can also have, kasi yun yung vertex, we could also have the value of x and y. Ordered pair lang naman siya. Kung ano yung point dito, kahit ano naman makita natin yung point dyan, pwede natin gamitin. Pwede si negative 3, 0. Pwede si negative 1, 0. Pwede rin ito. So, kahit ano, basta makita natin point siya that lies on our parabola. Now, ang A, alam ba natin? 
Okay, hindi po natin alam ang value ng A. So, that is uh, the first thing that we need to find. So, how are we going to do that? Let us first uh, find or get any um, ordered pair from our parabola. So, kinuha ko ay ang negative 1, 0. Saan po yung nakita? Ito po yun, negative 1, 0. Okay, yung negative 1, 0, isa substitute lamang natin as well as ito po yung points, Okay. As well as the vertex, which is, ano nga yung vertex natin? Ayan, negative 2, 2. Now, isubstitute natin. Ano yung y natin? Ito ay x, ito ay y, ito ay h, ito ay k. Tama ba? Okay. Ano ang x natin? Ano ang y natin? Okay, 0. Then, ano ang a natin? Wala, kasi yun ang hahanapin natin. Ano ang x natin? Negative 1. Minus, ano ang h? Negative 2. Quantity squared plus anong k? 2. Saan po itong nang nakuha? Ito po yun. Sinabstitute ko lang. Inilipat ko lang yung mga values. Now, simplify. 0 is equal to 8 times negative 1 minus. Alin ba dito ang unang masisimplify? Okay. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive. A ah, negative times negative 2 is positive 2. Quantity squared plus 2. Next is, yung nasa parenthesis muna, negative 1 plus 2. Okay, we have positive 1. Quantity squared plus 2. Okay, times, what is 1 times 1? 1 plus 2. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung value ng A, kailangan si 2 ilalagay natin dun sa kabila. So, 0, pag iniligay natin sa kabila, it will become negative 2. Then, 1 times A, A. Next is, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, yun pala ang value ng A natin. Ang A pala natin is equal to negative 2. Now, what are we going to do? Okay. So, since alam na natin ang A, pwede na natin kunin ang ating y-intercept. So, how are we going to do that? Balikan natin yung ating uh, equation x minus h quantity squared plus k. This time, ang i sa substitute lang natin or gagamitin lang natin values ay ang value ng a which is negative 2 at ang value ng ating vertex which is equal to negative 2 at 2. And then, ma paano yung x and y? Eh, di ba, hahanapin natin ang value ng y kapag ang x ay equal sa 0? Ibig sabihin, ilet x natin be 0. And then, kung ano yung magiging value ng y, that will be our y-intercept. Let us substitute. Kapiyahin ko lang ulit, ha? Okay. Ano ang y natin? Wala po, kasi yun ang hinahalap natin, the y-intercept. So, we have, anong A natin? Negative 2 times, what is X? 0 minus, what is H? Ang H natin ay negative 2. Okay, quantity squared plus 2. Y is equal to negative 2 times 0 plus 2. Magiging plus na yun kasi negative negative. Quantity squared plus 2. Y is equal to negative 2. 0 plus 2? 2. Quantity squared plus 2. Y is equal to negative 2. 2 times 2? 4. Sabi ko nang galing yung 2 times 2? 2 squared. Plus 2. Y is equal to negative 2 times 4? Negative 8 plus 2. Now, what is negative 8 plus 2? Okay, that is negative 6. So, ibig sabihin, that is our y-intercept. Kapag ang x ay 0, ang ating y ay negative 6. So, ibig sabihin, that is our y-intercept. y is equal to negative 6. Saan po yun? Ibig sabihin, dito pa pala. Dito pa pala sila mag-meet. Ano? Did you get it? Okay. So, ganyan po ang ating pagkuha ng mga properties ng ating quadratic function, domain, range, opening of the parabola, vertex, axis of symmetry, x-intercept, and y-intercept. At yan po ang pagkakaiba ng dalawang graph. Ang isa ay opens upward at ang isa ay opens downward. Okay? Always remember that. This video tutorial is made especially for you in learning Mathematics 9. Thank you for watching.
Please don't forget to subscribe.